Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is technically day three of our Disney trip. And this morning we checked out of the Four Seasons. Uh, we did get to experience the good morning breakfast with Goofy and his pals. I did a whole separate vlog on that breakfast experience. So I'll have that linked below if you wanna check it out. We are now all checked in at the boardwalk. So our room isn't quite ready yet, so we're gonna head over to Epcot for a little bit, but we are so excited to be here at the boardwalk because our friends over at DVC Rental Store are hosting us tonight. So very excited to show you the room, this resort, excited to take you guys along, but let's go to Epcot while we wait for our room. lovely afternoon strolling around Epcot. We made our way back to Boardwalk and we got our room text and we're all checked in. So let me do a quick little room tour and show you kind of what separates the DVC villas from a regular Disney hotel room. So right when you walk in, you have a really decent sized entryway. So I was thinking as soon as we walked in, man, this would be perfect to park a stroller. You could store your luggage up here. Like, it's just nice having a little extra space. And then you have this lovely mirror <laughs> on your way out the door, which is really nice. And then the main perk about staying in a DVC villa is the kitchenette. So regular Disney hotel rooms do not have these. So basically everything that's included, you have storage up top with plastic and paper cups and plates and bowls and you know anything you'd need paper towels, a microwave, toaster, ice bucket, and then everything to do dishes. So if you have bottles or water bottles that you wanna wash out you know, during your stay here, that's perfect to have access to that. And they provide dish soap right here for you. Uh, coffee, an actual coffee maker for those of you who are like, uh, to the Nespresso pods and you just prefer like an old-fashioned cup of coffee. That's what this is. My favorite thing, especially as a mom with a toddler, is that you have an actual refrigerator with a freezer compartment. So really, really love this. This is not your beverage cooler. So we've had trouble in regular Disney hotel rooms where you know milk or yogurt or uncrustables they just don't stay fresh in the beverage coolers but in an actual refrigerator i really appreciate this <laughs> that way i know my toddlers snacks and foods that we really depend on during our stay here they stay really fresh so more storage under here trash can recycling more paper towels really great i mean you could really unpack some groceries here and be set for the week. So I love that about the studios. And again, that's the biggest perk of staying DVC is that you get access to this. And then of course, in the one and two bedrooms, you have a full kitchen, you know, full size of everything. But in the studios, you know, comes with a lot still. Moving over to the bathroom area, this sink is just kind of open. So there's nothing that separates this from the uh, rest of the room. And then through the door here is your toilet and tub shower combo. Pretty standard. I wouldn't say there's anything special <laughs> in here, but you know, it is, it's a shower, it's a toilet. <laughs> More storage right here with lots of extra pillows and blankets. And this actually, I'm like looking now, this goes really far back. There's an ironing board. Uh, is that a vacuum or like a steam mop back in there if you like make a mess and want to do some cleaning? If you're and used to Swiffering at home and you just get the itch while you're here, you can do that You know, that maybe you just love cleaning and you're like, oh, I've got to keep cleaning on vacation. 
I don't know, just stay in a this room is for you. <laughs> so come to the vacuum cleaner. So dish soap, like, you know, everyone wants to do dishes on vacation. And I will preface before showing you the rest of the room, the boardwalk villas specifically are getting a total overhaul, hopefully in the next few months. So everything you see here has been here for several years at this point, and all of this is gonna be updated. So they're currently renovating the inside of Boardwalk, and then they're moving over, hopefully this fall, to fully renovate the DBC Villa side. So this is a little dated, but just know that it won't look like this for much longer, but the same idea and amenities will still be the same, if that makes sense. So you have a queen bed, and then a pull-out sleeper sofa, which I'm assuming they're gonna replace with that pull-down Murphy bed. I mean, I can only assume. Right now, it's just that standard coffee table. Again, I'm assuming they're gonna update it to have some kind of storage, you know, in there, I don't know. And then you have more storage right here, lots of drawers. Again, I don't know what they're gonna replace this with, if they'll keep this, but they will have, you know, some kind of option uh, for you to have actual dresser drawers if you're someone who likes to unpack on vacation. And then of course you have the lovely, very large TV with a table and chair set. And then let me move these out of the way because this actually pulls down to your fifth sleeper bed. So this room does sleep five. And if we had our three-year-old with us, this is where I would put her probably. Okay, so. We, for the past 15 minutes. <laughs> we have been trying to figure out how to pull this down and I've come to the conclusion that this specific room needs to be refurbished first because. Heads up Disney. This is definitely stuck. Like <laughs> it will not, will not come down. You've got two grown adults pushing these little buttons and pulling. And I'm like, I think a screw just popped out, babe. <laughs> so This is like the next world's strongest man heat like, right it's here. It's stuck on something. So again, it's getting a full refurbishment. <laughs> but just know, typically these beds do fold down to be a fifth sleeper bed. And I wish I could show you because it has this really cute Dumbo artwork and it's really adorable but we just genuinely cannot pull ours down. It has to be stuck or something. And we're active. <laughs> we're like, we're fit people. So anyway, okay, moving on. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> moving on. Just like other, you know, Disney hotel rooms, you do have uh, a lot of outlets and USB ports. And then I'm wondering if they have, yeah. So, you know, more outlets and USB on this nightstand as well. And then- Which is my nightstand. I know, I get the side that has no nightstand. Wanna switch? Nope. Wanna switch side stick? Nope. <laughs> and then this is where uh, the adjoining room would be, or this might be a one bedroom right next to us. So this would be considered, if they wanted to make this a two bedroom lock off room, this would be that connecting room that would make this part of the two bedroom villa right next door. Moving outside to our patio, we're on the first floor, on the ground floor. So we have a nice view of the pool. This is a garden pool view room category. Nice little chairs, no table with this one. It's just, just the two chairs. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then you have the nice view of the main uh, pool here. And then you can see the playground off in the distance as well. So. This would be a really great location. Again, if we had our toddler with us, we just kind of loop around and we're right here at the main pool. There's um, a smaller little splash area. It's not a splash pad, but at least they have something for small kids. There's a little kiddie pool and uh, maybe we can go check it out a little bit later, but yeah. And then a playground. So lots of fun stuff for kids here. I mean, of course, but that is our little patio here on the ground floor. So nice view of the pool. Or if you're the and, clampets, yeah. you just walk through the bushes because there's a little cut <laughs> you through. You can just crawl through. Right there. Um, you know, straight to the pool. You don't this even probably what we have do. to go around. You just, you know, get on your hands and knees. <laughs> <laughs> and hoof it. 
All right, so a little bit about the DVC rental store because again, this day would not be possible without them. So Disney Vacation Club is Disney's timeshare and owners can purchase a contract with a certain number of points that they're able to use at these DVC resorts every year. Now, if there's a year where they decide that they are not gonna be using their points, they can rent them out or sell them for a one-time use to a buyer like me. And it's really a win-win because it's a way for the owner to use up their points and still not lose value. But then I'm able to stay at these deluxe DVC resorts for 40 to sometimes 65% off, which is crazy. It seems too good to be true, but I promise it's the real deal. I have so many videos about renting DVC points if you really wanna do a deep dive and learn you know, way more in depth about the process and how it works and how to go about booking and all of the pros of renting with DVC Rental Store. They have a stress-free cancellation policy. They just implemented a payment plan, which is amazing because that's one of the downsides of renting with a lot of other companies is that you have to pay in full upfront, but not with DVC Rental Store, which is incredible that they provide that kind of flexibility. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of this resort, but this day so far has been so fun. It is lightning like crazy outside. The thunder is kind of intense and kind of scary. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure what our evening is going to look like and it just started downpouring. Our plan was to go back to Epcot, but I really don't know. We'll see. We may end up just hanging out at the boardwalk, which will actually be perfect if that's our evening because I can show you more of this resort and anyway, yeah, it'll be fun. We took a nice little break back in the room. You took a solid nap. Like, I you slept were hard snoring for like 20 minutes. <laughs> on the couch. Yeah. That was good though. It was great. But it was yeah. the perfect time for us to kind of chill back in the room because it was downpouring. People were panicking. I mean, it was pretty chaotic out here, but it's all clear now. So hopefully the rain has passed and we're good to go for the rest of the evening. We decided last minute to make a reservation for Trattoria here at the boardwalk. And it just, again, goes to show that you really can snag reservations like day of last second for us 20 minutes before <laughs> so really nice this wasn't something that we planned out and booked you know 60 days out it's been nice being able to just kind of decide in the moment what do you feel like doing like to a certain extent we knew we were going to be at the boardwalk today we had an epcot park pass reservation but other than that that was pretty much it so i'm excited to head over to trattoria we've had their dinner before and it's so good and very underrated Dinner was delicious, of course. Heavenly. <laughs> so good. So now we are headed back into Epcot and we're just gonna wander around. Ooh, and I did get a virtual queue for Cosmic Rewind. I joined at 1.45. There was still availability for the one o'clock opening. So really nice. So if you're not able <laughs> to get a boarding group at 7 a.m., Make sure to check back at 1, 1 p.m. I know, you do have to be in the park, so that's the only downside, you know. So it's never worked for us because we always have to be back in the room for our toddler's nap time. But because we were in the park at 1.45, I just checked on a whim and I was like, oh, it's letting me join the boarding group. <laughs> that's on our agenda for tonight. Anyway, it's gonna be a great evening. Okay, so 
the champagne bar in the very back of France. This was our first stop, of course, coming back in Epcot. But it's kind of hidden and tucked away back here, so it's never really that busy. And you can get little flutes of champagne, and it's really good champagne. So. Highly recommend, it's a little hidden gem back here. It's really good. We did a world showcase loop and uh, we got our notification that our boarding group is good to go at Guardian. So we are headed there now and this is the first time that I won't have to ride with a stranger. <laughs> I've never ridden Guardian. That's how you define stranger. That's true. I mean, if sometimes. You've been married for less than eight years, <laughs> that I'm still a stranger. <laughs> this is the first time I've ridden with someone I know. That's fair. No. <laughs> I know you. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny though, because sometimes you sit next to someone who's real chatty, you know, especially if you've done the single rider line or rider swap, like, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Sometimes. You... Like this video, if you're not the chatty type like me. <laughs> but sometimes people are really chatty, like I'm the chatty type to strike up conversation and Gosh, be like, hi, I like, is this your first time? I loathe people like you in life. <laughs> I always talk to people. People are probably always so annoyed. They're like, oh gosh, this girl. So, you know, I get on the ride and I'm like, hi, like, oh, is this your first time? Sometimes people are really chatty and they'll, you know, talk back. And then other times I don't get that kind of response and they'll just stare at me. It's really funny. You just it's like never know. <laughs> just ignore it. Just pretend you're not there. <laughs> just pretend you're not there sometimes. I'm excited to ride with my husband and not a stranger. So it'll be fun. <laughs> staying at the boardwalk is not having to <laughs> deal with this line to the Skyliner. So very nice that we are just a 10 minute walk back to our resort. We are back at the boardwalk. We're heading back to our room right now. We had thought about going over to Jelly Rolls. It's about 9.30, but we have had such a full day that we both decided, you know what, let's just call it a night. <laughs> as much fun as jelly rolls would be, we can always do it another time. We're just exhausted <laughs> from today. It was so fun and I just love the boardwalk. I mean, this whole resort, the ambiance here, I mean, even walking back from Epcot was so fun. There's still all that nighttime entertainment going on. Like it's a really lively area with lots of people and it's just fun. Anyway, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you can catch the rest of our trip. We still have a full day tomorrow and then we check out the day after tomorrow. So we still have tonight and tomorrow night. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us today. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.